when you look at statistics, Senator from Scott is right, that if one is going to become a recidivist, they do it in the first three years. But we also have statutes within the penal code that talk about individuals who are habitual felons. So this would apply to an habitual felon under the scenario as it came out under House Bill 70 without amendment. So we could have people who have been given habitual felon status, or PFOs, as they are defined, being automatically restored their civil rights after spending years in an institution. I think it only appropriate that there be a waiting period. And during this waiting period, because I've had years on both sides of the tables as a prosecutor and a defender, that you will see individuals who get released who continue to have a habit of committing offenses. Maybe not felonies, but misdemeanors. And there can be some serious misdemeanors that can be committed that don't rise to the level of a felony. So why not give them that opportunity to establish their credentials as being a productive citizen? Now, what is failed to be spoken of is this. For that individual who has extraordinary circumstances, that has been a model prisoner, who may have only committed one offense and spent a long period of time in a system, does that mean they won't get their civil rights back? with an automatic restoration period of five years? No, it doesn't. Because the mechanism is still in place that we can go, or that individual can go, to the executive branch, the governor, and say, here are my circumstances. Here are the facts around the situation for which I was incarcerated for. And you can have a discussion. And I think this is the process. They will contact the Commonwealth Attorney or the United States Attorney, be it for a federal crime, the victims, and they will ask them, you know, what is your thought and opinion? And generally, because as an individual who has worked with people to get their civil rights restored, somewhere in the area of 45 to 90 days, they get their civil rights restored if the executive branch feels the circumstances surrounding their facts are appropriate to grant them this restoration. So I think it is a misnomer to think that, well, this is just an additional penalty or an additional process, additional hoop to jump through. Well, it's there so people can have the opportunity to show that they have become that person which they should be to be given their civil rights back. 